initiating assessment of the robot's condition. Please wait, Clara. While Mr. Svarog is assessing this little fella, let's give it a quick checkup ourselves. One point, sure. Hmm? <laughs> this paint job and these custom parts, and the way the parts are attached, it's all quite strange. I think someone like the whole the broken ones are like using them together and like jamming parts together. Kind of like an amalgamation of robot parts, yeah. <laughs> but one thing is for certain. This little fella is not under remote control. He's operating entirely of his own accord. Hmm, noted. Its design is, well, unique. I've never seen a robot with a design like this before. Hmm, noted. It really seems like something that was thrown together rather quickly. Its creator most likely didn't consider whether the system would function properly or not. This is one to try. Maybe it was our first robot made. Is it a <laughs> failed robot pet creation that has been abandoned? Maybe. But if it's a pet, then why would it gather parts itself? It said it needed parts, right? Why is a robot pet? I think I've heard the term robot pet before. This place has a somewhat lax definition of pets. True. <laughs> I've heard that some vagrants in the dwelling keep the little robots they find as pets. Ah, little, not the little robot. Some yeah, sure. vagrants also make modifications to their pets, which they call pet upgrades. Well, that is quite special. Pets like that are pretty mm. rare. But some of the folks who have them have formed a small community to share ideas. Some are interested in nurturing robots. Others force them into battle. Oh, the last option ain't too good. <laughs> if my memory serves me right, the parts this little fella stole were originally designed for that kind of pet upgrade. Hmm. Battle each other, that's awful. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm learning some unusual things. Battle each other, that's awful. The vagrants, <laughs> or to be more accurate, the majority of the people in the underworld regard robots as nothing more than tools. No. But I disagree. Robots have their own thoughts and feelings. It's a Varok. It's a Varok just have his own thoughts or else. <laughs> he would have listened to Clara. He'd like, mm, Clara. Mm. It's great that you understand what I'm saying. Sure. Um. I'm sorry. I just suddenly felt some strong emotions. Mm. Well, let's get back to work on repairing the small robot. Okay, this okay. Jack's placement is odd. The chip is buried deep inside. If you don't look closely enough, you won't even find it. What do you mean Jack's placement was? Like a poor Jack? Assessment of mm. the robot's condition is complete. The shell damage is estimated to be 98.2%. I tried not to kill it all the way. The assessment mm. concludes that a total recovery is impossible. It is recommended that the robot's external shell be removed and replaced, while keeping the outer circuitry and related transmission devices. Hmm, okay, yeah, sure. You can always rely on Mr. Sparrow to come up with a brilliant idea. So, I guess we'll have to go find a new robot shell to fix it, right? Oh, I'll go and strip them from other robots. Uh, where can we buy one? Hmm. I'm not sure if anyone sells this kind of thing. Maybe the junkie burial. However, <laughs> there must be some robot shells lying around the machine graveyard. Everyone calls it a graveyard, but yeah. there are actually lots of useful parts buried there. Well, then we know where we're gonna go. Sure. I'm gonna return the parts to the vagrants first. Then I'll check on the little fella. Can I trust you to find a shell in the machine graveyard, big brother? Why my big brother? I'm an expert at scavenging. I can always go grab one from another robot if needed, yeah. Whatever, I'm an expert at scavenging. Really? <laughs> you could have what it takes to be a prospector. Then I look everywhere anyways. <laughs> I'll entrust this task to you, big brother. Sure. Look for Toby at the front entrance. His appearance is... Hmm. Crude. But he is the robot most familiar with the machine graveyard. Crude. Just follow Toby. I wish they would have done a different asset just to make him look slightly different. Like he, if you look even slightly different, it'd be better. Wait.
Yeah, he looks basically the same. Seems true to him. So when you go down there, what you will go down there, but first I won't. That's a huge one, holy crap. How are you doing, bud? Ah, oh, I thought you knew it. Six on this, six on that, I don't care. It's a big robot, Toby. No, this is Toby. Okay, sure. Hello, guests of Miss Clara. <laughs> Please do as you wish. It's my honor to serve you. I like this robot. <laughs> Clearly described you as primitive. Allow me to share a fun fact. Toby is not a primitive robot. Oh, yeah, Miss sure. Clara has assigned me the task of planning your sightseeing route in the machine graveyard. I will guide you down the path. I, I want to go over there. <laughs> if you don't go right, I'm going right by myself. Would you like to engage in super please. speed mode? If so, please confirm by spinning counterclockwise ten times. Then clockwise by 270 degrees. Yeah, I think you're supposed to... You're leading the way, you can at least make it easier for me, man. Yeah. Let's, um, uh, we don't need a buff here. Oh, yeah, I tried to do this. Two damage. I shoot the knee, I shoot the knee. This should be fine here. Not enough damage to the hook. Whatever. I'm really like attacking my guy. Am I really one of them? Yeah. Fine. Ready for another? No interesting conflict. Enemy data secure. Net marker back. See if I can do here. Get some more damage. Barrier. You're using the barrier. Enemy targets detected. Fighting is I don't see much reason to actually use another thing. <laughs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. This is the wrong way, man. We have arrived <laughs> at our first destination. This model is known as the Dire Wolf. Yeah, and sure. was scrapped after it sustained piercing damage during mm. a battle with another robot pet, which caused the chainsaw's fuel tank to burst. Wait, so it still works, and you just kind of dumped it? Oh. That's a bit, that's a bit, um, severe. Robot mm. pet battles sound a little frightening. Well, he said the only thing was the chainsaw. Come on, she works still. What, what, what do we have now? The inside mm. of the armor is a total mess due to being melted by the heat. Unfortunately, it appears to be useless. We are on our mm. way to the second destination. Please take My a point. seat, buckle up, and hold tight. Hold tight. I mean, hey, you're gonna go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Ten. Caution! You have exceeded the speed limit. Please obey Bellabog. Let's see if you stop already. I know what it said, Sandy. I can't have the attack. My gloves and hey, you didn't continue talking. What the fudge? Yeah, the ship actually pretty good. Commencing support. I'm gonna die anyways. Well, we'll start attacking this guy here. Yeah, let's get Dover here. Like big rooms. Actually, I should probably do you. Look smart. Hard to do it first because I'm getting in charge anyways, right? Oh, those of you guys have very good 
sure the first one is barriers first. Enemy targets detected. Why don't you do that? That one gonna blow up in here. <sighs> time. Screw yourself, you'll be module. Screw it. It's too module. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Wait, 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 wait. I could have sworn they were bigger, huh? Wait. I thought they were bigger, no, huh? Why the heck do they look smaller up close? Wait, what? Yeah, well, whatever. Hey. We have arrived at our second sure. destination. <laughs> this module is called the Beetle, mm -hmm. which is the same as mine. Noted, sure. This machine was scrapped mm -hmm. because it accelerated erratically for 7.1 kilometers after it incorrectly interpreted a command, Whoa. causing the engine to catch fire and the core module to melt down. Ooh. Well, that's a bit of feels bad there, eh? That is such an odd reason to be scrapped. However, the shell appears to be in good condition, so I'll bring it with me. My point. Your trip has concluded. Mm. Please keep an eye out for vehicles approaching from the back or sides, as well as enemies and automatons. No, that's why you're all dude. Your trip has concluded. I appreciate you putting your trust in Toby. Mm. A five-star review for this trip has been automatically generated for you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, metal casing removed from discarded robots. Maybe it can still be used. It's common for animals to molt, but have you seen robots molt? They're so tiny. Toby, you coming along, bud? Am I walking the entire way like an idiot? Like, can I just go up and just... Oh, whatever. Just stop thinking about it. Not it's gonna add much time anyways, it's whatever. Hey, it's Perkins, hey. Hey, people, players run found. Polite mode on. Wait, you have non polite mode? Sure. Hello, enemy. Welcome to the friendly robot settlement. All humans and machines must remain civil and friendly in the settlement. Fighting is strictly prohibited. You sure about that? Isn't there a fight going on in there? Hey, people, I hope you have a good time, Claire's friend. Aren't they fighting right here? Yeah, the... You mean fighting's prohibited? Oh, well, whatever. I'm here. Clara, it's time mm. for a break. You shouldn't repair machines when you have negative emotions. It's bad for your physical and mental health. Most of all, you can help. Or, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Mr. Sparrow. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, you're back already. How did it go? Did Toby help you find a shell? Oh uh, yeah, maybe not the same model, but it is a shell. And the new shell to clear up. Shell. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't appear to be the same design as this little fella's. I mean, it's gonna be pretty heckin' hard to find this design when they always blow up whenever you kill them. But it shouldn't matter. The structures of these small robots are nearly identical. Thank you for bringing this to me. Mm -hmm. I finished extracting that chip from the small robot. Now, all that's left to do is move all this circuitry into the new shell. Oh, can you add another language module? You should do that. They were transferred the robot's core module into the, main, into the new robot's shell. That's what I need to do. Although its appearance hmm. has changed a lot, I think we did a good job. I mean, it's functioning. Hmm. Mm. But what I just did, is it any different from those pet upgrades that the vagrants perform? Well, I guess it'd be kind of like skipping the brain out of a human and somehow managing to put it back. <gasps> Perfect example. Okay, I like what they did with monkeys, where they cut out the brain or cut off the head and attach it to another animal, attach it to another monkey. You basically did that, except more. 
efficient, yeah. <laughs> Not compatible. Incompatible. <laughs> huh? It's making a strange sound. Incompatible. In I don't think it likes the body. What's going on? Is it malfunctioning? It doesn't like the body. Incompatible. <laughs> Risk level high. Clara, get away now. It doesn't like. Big brother, watch out. It's out of control. Okay. Let's chill out, man. Oh, you're attacking now. Noted. Nope. Yeah. Oh. I was hoping to be nice, but um, no more helping you. Commencing support. <gasps> I've no interest in Sorry for this. It's not like the body, yeah. Terminate. Yeah, noted. Terminate. Terminate. I think you wanted to die once you changed its body, yeah. Um. <laughs> that was close. Fortunately, Mr. Sparak and Big Brother acted fast. Sure. Why did the little fella... Was there a compatibility issue? I don't think he likes the body. Troubleshooting. Assessment. The system on the chip and the new hardware are incompatible, hmm. causing the robot to behave erratically. Oh, well, that's unfortunate there. The current issue has been resolved. Risk level low. Alert lifted. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> it appears to have adjusted to its new shell after the battle. That's great. But you didn't break it again, I'd right? I'd like to keep a closer eye on it for a while. Compatibility tests should take a few days. Hopefully, it'll be all back to normal by then. Wait, is that gonna have to wait a day to figure out how it's gonna I'm go? I'm also curious mm. about where this little fella came from. Could you please come back later, big brother? I need mm, to look fine, into fine. something. Mm. I may require your assistance. Well, see you Thank tomorrow, Claire. Sure. I'll text you when this little fella is fixed. Mr. Sparrock, I'd like to give this little fella a name. Any ideas for a good name? Bob. Accessing name <laughs> database. Search results. Abby. Abigail. Ada. Addison. I'm really going in that kind of order. I <laughs> should come back to Clara later. That's going to be a lot of names. It's going to be a heck of a long list for now. Might be a chance, yeah. Might be a chance to position or get some else also to research up. Everything he did using his power was to protect his family. <laughs> Looks like it hasn't gone back to normal yet. I should come back later. Fine, fine, not like I have a choice in the matter. Okay, now we do what we're gonna No, no we do. We got distracted once, we got distracted twice, we got distracted three times, four times, five times, six times, seven, maybe eight. I don't know how long it's been, but now we can continue. Oh, yeah, I wonder, are you still same? Oh, you're back. Seen any rare animal species? Or do you have any zoological questions you'd like to ask me about? I want to ask. Oh, an amber, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Really? I mean, can we just teleport here? Maybe I guess that's only for us, and we can teleport, and they can't. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. <laughs> if Jurillo, it's not. I'm not calling you. I'm not calling you Rilo. It's not. It's no. This you could do is hover though. No, you really wrong. If J can make a J sound and an H and a Y, stupid. Jerillo VI and return to the Express. I want to have one. Okay, leave Jerillo VI and return to the Express. Priorities? Hmm. What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Oh, crap. Of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets. Parameters. It doesn't sound like it's really good. Love your fancy words. Oh, forget it. 
Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you. Look, Ranya. <sighs> Na los. Leaving. There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? <laughs> yes. Nothing happened. Diversion. Even more uncertainty than ours. But <laughs> we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. I mean, yeah, the, the winner, yeah, you don't well, have an on, argument baby. anymore. Hello. Mr. Yang, <laughs> Team Trailblaze back from duty. Mission one accomplished. With more missions. Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. Mom, how would you rate my performance? Piece of cake. Can I skip the next mission and get some rest? How would you rate my performance? Sure. That's an important I'd say question. It's a solid five stars. Out of ten? Out of five? Well, I'll out of five, yep. Get some rest <laughs> on the express. Your Relo 6 was not an easy ride. Sure. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Fine, fine, sure. <laughs> Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. Yeah. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. With some stops along the way. <laughs> Due to some minor issues, major issues. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. Yeah, that would be fun. <gasps> if real life was like that, that'd be dandy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Marge has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. Oh, I'm fine. I'll head back to my room then. Watch you do the coffee. Maybe. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. <laughs> we need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. Maybe. Maybe About not. About <laughs> your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellar Run situation. You must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. Oh, While you were yes, away, yeah. Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Well, come on, no, no, no. You know, you say that because you know I'm gonna ask anyways, man. Yeah, home sweet home. Oh, sure. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Yeah. Where's our next stop? I can't wait. The express <laughs> crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like mm -hmm. a thread weaved into the life stories of others. Are we just kind of affected, I guess? The universe <laughs> is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. <laughs> well, maybe for y'all not, but I guess for me, it was kind of already... Designed, implemented, I don't know. What's it called? I don't know. It was already set in stone by whoever. Kafka, Silver Wolf, and I forget whoever they work for. Yeah. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Okay, everything, sure. I'd like to talk about the battle with Kekolium. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Yeah, oh, you do that. I feel like this is continue right. Oh, sure. About the path of preservation. Klopoth the Preservation <laughs> is known for their... Indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the eon's power. We got it though. <laughs> Determined to preserve the world they loved, the architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. Oh, so they didn't get help, I see. And <laughs> one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. 
In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned yeah, out, Trace, sure. Klopoth mm -hmm. responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian and to take control of the Colossus. Hey. Okay, I was meant to thank you for your support during the battle. Sure. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. I see. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. Not a challenge. The source of Krakolia's power. I mean, if they we went off on the random direction, it doesn't mean that it might, might not be in line with the trail. So, quest or whatever, wherever we are in space, whatever. The source of Krakolia's power. Is a Stellaron. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. So kind of like us with destruction. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. I see. <laughs> On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? I mean, I certainly wouldn't go for with the thing that actually caused the cause of destruction of their city, but uh, sure. Let's talk about something else. Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Tenjirillo. Tenjirillo VI. Go back to what it was like before the Stellaron. <laughs> Well, may be better equipped to answer that, but if you want my two cents, which I, uh, I asked, so I'd yeah. say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can mm. tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. <laughs> What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. Yeah. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make your Elo 6 mm -hmm. prosper again to a certain degree. They can never get back fully. They will remain vulnerable <laughs> and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. An asteroid could come out and just randomly hit them and they go bye bye. What happened what happened to the Stellaron? It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. Mm -hmm. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. Good to know, That's know. <laughs> about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. Oh, put it in me again. <laughs> put another one. The people on this planet to heal and rebuild. So it's gonna start attacking again. Thanks for your patience, Jimiko. You're most <laughs> welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. Multi boy. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Oh. Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. I'll say I feel. It seems you have something <laughs> on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, mm -hmm. we've pretty much run out of topics. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, the fragmentum. Okay, the fragmentum and the eternal freeze. Will they? Will they disappear? I'm afraid not. No. Okay. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo Six is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bella Bog's fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But will it go away? Not but the question. The balance <laughs> of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity. The crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope. <laughs> because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that it may grow into something much bigger. But, in my opinion, 
the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. Well, I guess in some stories it will, in some stories it won't. If it's a bad story that doesn't, well, Stellaron wins and you go bye bye. Yeah, whatever. I relate your view of the Stellaron's effect to Branyo. Effects to Branyo. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than mm -hmm. to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. I completely agree. That's what I wanted to tell I the people a about Concordia. World where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. And that's what I thought they should have told what Kokoli is, because then it makes them look at the system that they're under, the government system, and whether it should be changed or not, in which it should be changed, hey. However, sadly, it didn't work like that. Hope we didn't have a say. <laughs> this goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope Urelo 6 sees that too. Urelo. Hey, the mission would have been much easier if you if you were there. The mission would have been much easier if you were there. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. It was fun. I've been observing <laughs> what's happening on the ground from the express, and I have to admit that <laughs> I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Hey, well done. Himako was calm <laughs> from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> Young <truth. laughs> and mm. she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Yeah, it's bad for your heart. It's nice. It's been nice chatting with you, Mr. Yang. Likewise. <laughs> Get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Bye, bye.